Superfoods, do you know the health benefits? Hey Alphas, welcome to Life Nutrition, part of the Life Light series. First, let me start off by saying that I'm not a nutritionist, nor do I claim to be one. Okay, this is simply just my opinions based on my research to benefit my life and my fitness. So today we're going to talk about superfoods. We all know that I'm on a health kick. We all know that I'm trying to lose weight and live a healthier life. In order to do that, I have to look out for my nutrition. I told you in an earlier vlog that I actually had high blood pressure. All right, my elevations were really high and I was in a lot of trouble. Now, one of the reasons why I was able to lower my um, condition is through proper foods. Now, you have to realize that what you put in your body is what you're gonna get out of it. And for the longest time, I was eating nothing but junk food. Late nights, early mornings, that's a college life. But that college life stayed with me even into my adult life. So the reason why I'm starting this particular series on nutrition is to help you learn from me, not make the same mistakes that I made. So today, what we're gonna talk about is the superfoods themselves. The things that help me lower my blood pressure. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is kale. Kale is among the most nutrient-dense foods on the planet. Kale is loaded with powerful antioxidants. Kale can help lower cholesterol and can play a significant role in preventing cancer. So let's talk about garlic. Garlic can combat sickness, including the common cold. Garlic can reduce blood pressure. It improves cholesterol levels and contains powerful antioxidants. Athletic performance can truly be improved with garlic supplementation. So let's talk onions. The phytochemicals in onions improve the working production of vitamin C in the body, therefore gifting you with an improved immune system. Onions can help regulate your blood sugar levels, therefore if you're diabetic, this is a food of your choice. Raw onions can also encourage the production of good cholesterol in your body. Onions scavenge free radicals and therefore contain high antioxidants. Onions can play a huge significant role in preventing cancer in the body. Now let's talk about ginger. The active ingredient in ginger can help fight infections. Ginger is an anti-inflammatory. Therefore, if you're working out and stressing out those joints, you want to make sure that you're taking in a lot of ginger to help you fight that. Ginger may drastically lower blood sugar levels and improve heart disease risk factors. Ginger may lower cholesterol on all levels. Ginger can play a significant role also in preventing cancer. And as a bonus, ladies, Ginger may significantly reduce menstrual pains. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. Let's talk apples. We're not just talking any apples. We're talking green apples. Green apples can increase energy levels significantly. Now, if you're gonna be working out, this is probably one of the foods you should eat before you go. Green apples can act as an appetite suppressant. Green apples are loaded with antioxidants. Green apples can reduce liver problems and can help with digestive tract issues. So we're gonna talk celery. Celery reduces inflammation. It regulates the body's alkaline balance, meaning your pH levels in your blood. Celery reduces bad cholesterol in your body. Put the lime in the coconut. So let's put the lime in the drink mixture. Limes can help you alkaline your body's pH as well and bring your balance. You've heard that with celery. Limes are rich with antioxidants, which helps you neutralize free radicals. Limes have powerful antibacterial properties. They contain vitamin P, which can strengthen blood vessels. Limes contain 22 anti-cancer compounds. So if you're dealing with any kind of cancerous issues in your body, this is your best friend. And to help you prevent cancerous problems, this is your best friend. All right, so, We've talked about all of these superfoods that I have on this table. Now, one of the cool things is that you can create shakes out of these. So, if you're on a track to lose weight, if you wanna better your life, if you have some health issues, these superfoods can help you. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all of these ingredients here, I'm gonna put it in this Nutribullet, and we're gonna make a really cool shake. Now, I'm not saying that it's the most delicious thing in the world, but these ingredients help you combat a lot of issues that are going on in your, in your body and can help you when you're putting your body through huge demanding workout. But let's get started. So 
I have my trusty Nutribullet here. What I usually do is I start out with making sure this is clean, of course. Then I usually add some kale. Gotta get that kale in here. All right. Then usually add some onions. Add some celery. Now you can add as many or as little as you want to. I pretty much have an understanding of what I like and how I like it to taste. So you may want to tweak and play with this formula a little bit so that you can get it to the way that you like it. Add some ginger. I like a lot of ginger. All right. Then apples. I usually add a good bit of apples. So. Break it up so that either your Nutribullet Ninja or your blender in general is able to get to it. And then I usually just squeeze in some lime, all right? This will really help with the taste, I promise you. All right. So the last thing is you gotta add water. Don't add any juice or anything like that. Stick to water because we're trying to make this sugar free. I know you saw that. It's okay. I make mistakes. All right. Then you just put it in the Nutribullet and away we go. That's it. So afterwards, just unscrew this and give this a pour. All right, so bottoms up. It's fine. Now, if you remember, oh, I got me a mustache. Mm. Sorry guys, it gives you a little bit of a mustache. So, now if you remember, I went on a cruise. When I came back from the cruise, I came like six pounds. I know, we already talked about this. And I went on a detox diet. This was my detox diet. I did eat normal foods, I just ate better. I ate more salads, just like I do now. But what I included was this remedy here. This helped me significantly reduce weight. It actually aided in helping me further reduce my cholesterol, which I didn't have a huge issue with cholesterol. But when I had a further test done from my job, I actually found out my cholesterol was lower. And it helped me with my blood pressure again. I actually feel really good. I haven't felt this good in a long time. So give this a try and you'll see this is a good detox solution for your everyday life. Now, if you're trying to lose weight, drinking this two or three times a day might be very beneficial for you. If you're really healthy, you may want to do this once a day, once a week. But I'm telling you, this truly detoxifies your body. There is a bit of a downside. You may smell like garlic. Sorry, that's just the way it is. And hey, this is a small sacrifice for several days to benefit your overall life. So guys, this is Life Riley. I appreciate you checking out my channel. I appreciate you looking at Life Nutrition and you're gonna get this every second Saturday of the month. Just one segment in the overall series of Life Life. So I hope you enjoy. So Alphas. Life demands results. So, what do your results say about you? I got a mustache.